Hi everyone and welcome to the video that we will be making sausage gravy. And so I do recommend that you start making your sausage gravy first and then moving on to the homemade biscuits and I will explain more detail about that at the end. And so the first step I want to do is to go over all of your ingredients to make sure you have everything. And so you want to make sure that you have one pound of ground pork sausage, two tablespoons of butter, one third cup of flour, three cups of milk, and it can be any type of milk. Today, I will be using 2%. One fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon of seasoned salt, one fourth teaspoon of just regular salt, and then we also will be using black pepper, and the recipe does call for two teaspoons. And so this is just what the recipe recommends, but if you like something a little bit more, or if you don't like something so much in it, um, for example, salt, if you have any dietary restrictions, you can tweak this recipe to what fits your needs and what fits your taste. So step one, we are going to brown the sausage in a large skillet over medium-high heat until no longer pink. And so I actually already did this. I used this spatula to help chop up the meat. And I will show you what it looks like now. So you can see there's no pink in there and the meat is fully cooked. All right, so step two on our instructions. Add the butter to the pan and stir it around until melted. And so I am using the unsalted butter. Um, this is what I got from the store. And on here, it actually has teaspoon measurements and it also has tablespoon measurements. And so I already cut the two tablespoons that I need. And so I'm just going to unwrap this and put it into my skillet. My skillet is going to be on low, so it slowly melts and does not burn in my skillet. And so it's melting right now, so I'm gonna give that a couple minutes and then I'll continuously stir it. Step three is sprinkle the flour over the sausage and stir for two minutes. And so for the flour, it does, like I said before, ask for one third cup of flour. And so this measuring cup is actually two cups. And so it looks really small in here, but I am at one third of a cup in my measuring cup. And so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in and I'm going to stir the butter, the flour, and the sausage together. So I did turn my heat up a little. It's on about medium. So I would suggest turning that up so all the flavors can start to blend together. So step four on our recipe, pour the milk into the sausage and flour mixture slowly, whisking constantly until smooth. And so this is my whisk that I will be using today. Again, like I said, this measuring cup is actually two cups. I also have a measuring cup here that is a bit larger and it goes up to four cups. And so since we are doing three cups of milk, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my larger one, but anything will work if you have a measuring cup that's only one cup, totally fine, just do it three times. 
So since it does say slowly, I am going to pour the milk into the skillet little by little and stir as I go. to be precise because you don't want your mixture to be too dry. So you can see here I have three cups and like I said I'm just going to pour it in slowly and stir. We're looking good. I'm going to continue to pour just a little more in and continue to stir slowly. So while that's all cooking together, my butter is now melted and the flour has disappeared into the mix. I can no longer see the flour and so it's really all coming together now. And so I'm going to pour the rest of my milk in. I did about one cup each time I poured, but total three cups. And you're just going to stir it together until it all starts blending together. It may look like you have too much milk, but I promise it will all come together and become more thick. I would have your stove, or I'm sorry, your heat on about medium to high at this point to really let it cook together and to become a little thicker. All right, so that is cooking up. The next step we are on is step number five. Whisk in the seasonings. Taste the gravy and adjust seasoning if necessary. And so we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes so it becomes more thick, because right now it's pretty runny since we just added the milk. So for the seasonings, we have one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and so what I recommend is using a plate or a napkin, setting that down, and using your um, measuring tool. So you can see I have this little guy, one fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm going to pour my seasoning onto the measuring utensil over the plate so that if there's any extras, it will go on the plate and it will not get into my recipe that I'm already making. You don't want too much of anything right away. And so again, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. And so I'm just shaking it into here. And so just for an example, you can see how much got onto that plate. It's kind of a lot if you don't absolutely love garlic powder and want extra in your recipe. So I do recommend just doing that over a plate. So I have this, I'm going to toss it into my recipe. Right now it is cooking, it almost looks kind of yellow, so that really means it's starting to all come together. So I would occasionally keep stirring it to make sure the mixture's all mixed up. So we have our garlic powder. Next is going to be 1 4th teaspoon of seasoned salt. So again, I'm going to use this utensil again. I have my seasoned salt right here. And I'm going to just pour that onto, oops, kind of a lot. And that's why I want to use the plate. So I poured that into this utensil and I'm going to, again, just toss it into my skillet. 
and I'm gonna give it another stir. And I did turn up my heat just a little on my skillet just now. The next ingredient is going to be one four teaspoon of salt. And so this is the salt I'm going to be using today. And again, same utensil since it's one fourth. If you don't like a lot of salt, this, you don't have to add this or you can add just half of this if you would like. So again, it's just to whatever your taste buds would like more. Um, but for this video, I am going to follow the recipe that it calls for. So again, I'm gonna throw this in. Do a little stir. And it is starting to bubble a little, so I really know that the heat is working and that all of the ingredients are starting to blend. So it is getting a few bubbles and it's becoming even thicker, which is a good sign. Our next seasoning is black pepper. And so if you ever had biscuits and gravy before, you know that usually there's always pepper in the gravy. If you don't like too much of this, um, the recipe does call for two teaspoons, but you're more than happy to cut that in half if you want. Again, for this recipe, I am gonna follow the instructions. So two teaspoons of black pepper. And my measuring tool here is one teaspoon. And so I'm just gonna do two of these. And it does look like quite a bit of pepper, but this is really going to give it that biscuit and gravy flavor once it all comes together. All right, so we're really bubbling now. Everything's bubbling, it looks really good. I can really start to smell all of the ingredients coming together. And again, I'm going to do the last teaspoon of my pepper over my plate and toss it in. And I'm going to stir all of the seasonings now together. So I put my heat on about medium now, since I have a lot of bubbles going on, a lot of heat in there. I want it to just kind of calm down and make sure it all comes together without burning. All right, and so it did say whisk in the seasonings. I did not use my whisk. Um, I used what I, I used this utensil, but I am going to use my whisk now to just kind of stir it for about 20 seconds. And then um, the recipe does say to taste the gravy and adjust seasoning if necessary. So I'm going to do that as well. So it's looking really good. I am going to get a spoon out to taste it. And I'm gonna let that cool here for a minute so that it is pretty hot. I do want to show you that tip I gave you to pour all the seasonings into your measuring tools over the plate. You can see how much seasoning got on this plate and I was trying really hard not to do that. And so it is important if you want to follow the recipe to do it over something um, instead of directly over your recipe because it could, you know, like you can see, um, more will fall in. And so I am going to taste the gravy and see what I think. It's really good. It's really good, it has a really good consistency. It's pretty thick, but not too thick. And 
I can definitely taste all of the flavoring in it. And so I think this recipe is really good as far as following the exact measurements. But if you do have a preference for something else, please be more than happy to adjust. The next step is step six, serve immediately with your favorite biscuits and enjoy. And so I do want to show you what the inside of my skillet looks like. difficult for me to show you but you can see it's a pretty good consistency and everything's blended together now and so I am going to put the gravy on low on my stove so it's on low so one or below is where you want to have that on your stove and just let it sit there and then kind of stir while we are cooking our biscuits and so I hope you all enjoyed making our sausage gravy. I am really excited now to make our biscuits and then put it all together. And so I will see you guys in the next video to make our homemade biscuits.